In 2003, the 100th anniversary of Wright Brothers flight, I was asked by Aviation Week to comment on the significant people of the first 100 years of aerospace. And I named the people, nine of them. I found out later that every one of those was a child during the most rapid advance of aircraft. 1908, there were only a handful of people, I think 11 or 12, who had flown and only three or four of them was able to make a turn. Four years later, in 1912, there was a factory in France that made 500 airplanes. There were hundreds of airplane types developed in 39 countries. The reason that the world had hundreds of airplanes in 39 countries in four years is 1908, Wilbur Wright flew his airplane in Paris and everybody looked at, my God, he can not only fly, but he can make figure eights, he fly twice a day. He runs a bicycle shop. These guys were out of a bicycle shop and they got a flying airplane. So therefore, the thinking was, I can do that. If these guys out of a bicycle shop can do it, I can do it. So this short period of time, the children that were exposed to that jump happened to be the ones that I valued as the most important to the whole time period. Now, a significant thing is that if you look at the people in investing uh, more recently, Paul Allen, Richard Branson, Bezos, the Google guys, the Bigelow, all of these guys were very young during Apollo. And watching this marvelous thing that happened for Apollo, nine different manned launch systems were developed and flown in nine years, 61 to 69. And NASA did seven of them with no accidents. The kids that were inspired by that are the guys that when later on when they could afford it, they invested in it. They funded the Ansari Prize. They competed in it and they are out there developing things uh, to reach uh, these cool goals.